Hi, I'm Bess. And I'm Raphael. And we are Two Peas in the Kitchen. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a decadent apple honey cinnamon noodle kugel. As always, we will share time-saving tips and tricks to help home cooks make easy, elegant eats. If this sounds like exactly what you need, click on the watermark in the lower right-hand corner of the video for a free subscription to our channel. That way you won't miss any of our delicious recipes and easy peasy tips. First, we're gonna work with our apples and we have a really cool gadget here. This is our triple action apple machine and it, it slices your apple, it peels it, and it cores your apple. So we actually have one that we already did and we're not quite done with the apple yet, but look how beautiful. Um, and it did everything at once. Isn't it pretty? So we're going to actually end up chopping this a little bit more, but this gadget makes it super easy. If you don't have one, we highly recommend getting your triple action apple machine. <laughs> I love the name too. So here we have, uh, we, we have some freshly picked honey crisp apples. These work beautifully in this dish. And you want to get medium sized apples. Don't get the giant ones. Um, medium sized apples will, will work fine for this. So this is, how, this is how the apple machine works. So you're gonna take the bottom of the apple and there's three prongs right here and you're simply going to insert the apple all, all the way to the bottom, okay? And then, then you simply turn the crank on this side once it gets up here. You'll see it'll start to peel the apple and at the same time, it slices and cores. So once it's done peeling, there we go. Then I'm just gonna simply pull the apple off and voila, how easy is that? <laughs> As Ina Garden says. Okay, so I'm just gonna do another apple right now. And while I do this, I did wanna mention a couple things. So, there we go. So number one, um, we will have a link to this machine in our, in our blog post in the description of this video. And the other nice part is that right now this is suctioned onto the counter, but it also comes with a clamp. And if you'd like, you can clamp it on the edge of your counter as well. So whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, this is really, if you bake a lot with apples, this is a game changer for sure. Okay, so we've already done all of our apples um, spiral sliced beautifully with our triple action. <laughs> okay, so I've recouped my, my apple here. I just wanted to show everybody how cool it is, the spiral slices that the apple machine makes. I got a little over enthusiastic in that, that last part where I pulled it apart, but this apple machine is, it's not an expensive thing. It's awesome. We highly recommend that. Okay, we're gonna keep going here with our, with our honey apple cinnamon kugel. We've already started um, with the other three apples <clears throat> doing a little chopping. Um, these do need to be sort of chopped into much smaller pieces because we want them to cook in the kugel and not to be hard because we're not gonna cook them in advance of making the kugel. That's one of the really easy things about this particular kugel. There's no fruit or any ingredients that need to be cooked in advance. After all four apples are spiralized in the apple machine and also chopped on the cutting board here, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in a quarter cup of light brown sugar right into the apples. And we're also going to mix in a quarter cup of just regular cane sugar. And I'm gonna mix this up with our apples here. And I'm just gonna put this over to the side and let the sugar kind of pull out some of the juices from these delicious Honeycrisp apples. By the way, you can use any apples that you want for this. We chose Honeycrisp apples because we just picked Honeycrisp apples, but you can use any apples you have on hand. Okay, so we already have four eggs that we've whisked. Um, so you'll wanna use a pretty large bowl because we're going to mix all of these ingredients all together before we put it in our pan when we bake it. Um, so four, four eggs, 
And then we have a quarter cup of heavy cream that we're just gonna pour right in. And a tablespoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna add a teaspoon of a good quality vanilla extract. This one's an amazing brand. We, we use this brand. So one teaspoon. I smell, it's, it already smells amazing. I can almost drink this. <laughs> okay, next we have two cups of sour cream. And this is gonna go right, right in here. And then our sour, our, not our sour cream, our cottage cheese. So we have two cups of, of cottage cheese. Okay, mix that in. And we have a whole stick of butter that we've melted. So just be careful if you have, um, although we've already incorporated a lot of the ingredients, I'm gonna go slow because you don't want, you don't want to create scrambled eggs. I'm sure you've heard that before. Um, although we've already added a ton of other ingredients, so it shouldn't be much of an issue, but I'm just gonna pour it in slowly and whisk at the same time. Our whole stick of butter. This smells amazing. <laughs> and then two tablespoons of honey. This is a beautiful local honey that one of our friends gave us. And I'm gonna get all of it out with this little mini spatula. Next, we're gonna put in the noodles. So this is just 10 ounces of egg noodles. We already pre-cooked them ahead of time per the package instructions. So 10 ounces of noodles. And then I'm gonna use the spoon to stir everything up before we add our apples. So mix it up nice and well till everything seems to be incorporated evenly. And then we'll move on to add our apples. Okay, so Raphael's already mixed in all of our wet ingredients with our noodles here. So our last step is we have our apples. You can see, remember we had already mixed in the two sugars how that really pulled all that delicious juice out of the apples. We're just gonna pour our finely chopped up apples with all of the juice and the sugar right into our noodles. And we're just gonna incorporate that right in with all of the rest of the ingredients. This kugel is super easy to make. It is also extremely versatile. Our easy peasy tip for this recipe is twofold. First of all, a lot of times people make a kugel when they're planning to entertain a group of people, like I do. And so of course, making that easier is the ability to make this in advance. You can make this kugel and bake it the day before or even two days before you're gonna serve it. Cover it really tightly with foil, store it in your refrigerator, and then you can reheat it at about 300 degrees for about 25 or 30 minutes, right the day that you wanna serve it. The other thing about this, this is really the ultimate easy peasy tip, is you can make a kugel, bake it, let it cool all the way, and then you can freeze it. Cover it really tight with foil stick it in the freezer, make sure that it cools first before you freeze it. And then when you take it out, I would put it into the refrigerator the day before you wanna serve it. Let it come to room temperature out of the refrigerator for maybe 30 minutes. And then I just uncover it and reheat it in a 300 degree oven. Okay, so I like to spray, I just got, um, this is just a little bit of olive oil and it really is just olive oil. I just like to spray a little bit of olive oil in the pan. You just take the whole kugel you pick up your bowl and you pour it in, <laughs> just like that. Okay, so we have the kugel now all into this. This is just a regular size nine by 13 basic size of like a Pyrex you might have, or if you have any porcelain bakers like this can go in any of those. I do like to kind of mix it up, make sure that everything is kind of evenly distributed. After you have this kind of all distributed evenly like that, 
You are gonna bake this in your preheated 350 degree oven, uncovered, no foil on top for approximately one hour. At about 55 minutes to an hour, I would just start checking it to make sure it's not getting too brown on top, but I find that an hour is actually the perfect amount of time to cook it. Okay, so our kugel is now done baking. It took exactly an hour. Look at that, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's a little crispy on top. And now I'm gonna set it down and let it cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna taste it. Okay, so here we are. It's our favorite part of every time video. We're gonna taste our delicious apple cinnamon honey noodle kugel. Mm. Mm, it's delicious. <laughs> it's so good. It's you can really see good. It's still steaming. Creamy, delicious, you can, sweet. It's delicious. It's and perfect. You can make this ahead of time and you can keep it in your freezer and serve it the next day or you can freeze it with tightly covered foil mm -hmm. for up to a month and it's just a delicious side dish. It's great for a brunch and it really turned out perfect. I love it. I'm going to eat this whole piece. <laughs> me too. We hope you love this recipe as much as we do. We hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've tried making this recipe for our apple honey cinnamon noodle kugel, make sure you leave us a comment down below to let us know what you think. The link to the blog post is in the description below for reference. And also please join our pod and subscribe to our free channel by clicking on the watermark on the screen below. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Bye.